Can I have a kiss? George? Hi guys, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. And I have with me here today, Cody. Cody, do you want to turn around and say hi maybe? Hi Cody. Cody is the African Grey which um, we rescued about a month ago. Those of you who have been following his story, uh, you guys saw him right from the beginning before I even got him. And then you saw his progress. And we're going to talk about his progress today for our parrot tip video. And the reason is because Cody has developed extremely fast. Now I know I mentioned to you guys before that it's very possible that Cody must have been tame before because how is he such a sweet bird? Aside from like this shirt eating thing that he has and hair hanging thing. but. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, he's like literally crawling down my back. Remember when he was such a nice, calm bird? Yeah, here he is. Peekaboo! There you are. Look at you. Look at you. You know you're in the camera? Anyway, so I don't want you guys to be discouraged because you might have watched the beginning of me getting Cody. You may know that Cody has been in the cage for literally years and not come out. And then here he is, he comes into my house and within a few days he's like the nicest, sweetest bird, right? So I don't want you guys to watch that playlist and get the wrong idea because if you guys have watched my other video a while ago about not taking it personally, it really, really can take sometimes a year even for a bird to come around with the right patient. So I don't want you to watch the Cody video and then say, oh my God, my bird didn't act like that in a few days because it really doesn't happen that way. I honestly think there was a point when Cody must have been tame and must have been interacted with and then he just kind of got in the wrong hands for Cody. So that's what I think. But what I want to talk about today is socialization and the time frame in which you have. Now I know that we've talked about this before, but due to Cody's progress and the way he's been moving along within the household, I want to specifically highlight to you um, how he's developing with each person. Now, I don't know if you guys remember before when George came home and we were told that he likes guys, he took to George immediately and I really didn't think that, you know, there might not be hope for me. Well, actually that's a lie because I'm like good with every bird, like all the birds in the house just like love me, they know that I understand them. And it always happens that because I give them a significant amount of attention, it always happens that it's really easy for me to make um, myself their favorite person. But with that being said, any of you guys can do it too. Now I always say that you don't choose a parrot, a parrot chooses you. You could very well go to a store, go to a breeder, get a bird, bond with the bird, and bring it home and the bird can love somebody else. That's very possible. And by the way, stores and breeders aren't the only option. It's really, really great to adopt a bird that is a rescue. It's so, so good for the bird because look at Cody right now. He's so happy. So um, I urge you guys to adopt birds, older birds. Birds live for a very long time, so it doesn't really matter how old they are. Um, you'll be with them for the longest time and let them make you happy and you make them happy, right? So here's what I'm getting at today. Today we're going to talk about as you watch Cody just like crawl all around my hair, head, shoulder, back, whatever, we're going to talk about socialization and timing with regards to other people in the family. So I think that I have discussed this before, but I want to tell you the story of what has happened here in this house. So Cody looks really sweet. He is really sweet, lets me scratch his head, lets me pick him up, loves me, all of that. But Cody bit my sister, he bit George, and he bit my dad. And uh, he drew blood on George and my dad. So um, there are a few things that, reasons for that. One, I think both of those times, or a few of those times, it was a little bit after his bedtime, 
and so he does get cranky. Birds really do get cranky when they don't have their consistent bedtime and we were just kind of like trying to include him a little bit later, give him a little bit more time and I noticed that he really did get cranky. But it's really important for the bird to not be just a one person bird. It's not always the easiest thing. But if you have other people in the family that really do like birds and they really would be willing to put their time into a bird, then it's a good job sometimes to step back and let them have their time. So since Cody bit my sister, and I really, really want my sister and Cody to get along, this is what I did. You guys know that I have a spare cage in my room. I have a spare cage in my sister's room. I decided that Cody was going to sleep in my sister's room from now on. Well, actually what really happens, I don't know if you guys remember, we went away to the film festival. I didn't want Cody sleeping in a room alone. So he went to sleep into my sister's room. Because by the way, I still cannot get this cage for the bird, but I'm working on it. So, meaning his cage that he originally had because it didn't fit in my car. So I put Cody in my sister's room. She loves that. My sister loves to like watch Netflix and sit there all day. Not all day, I should say. She works really hard on her vet school stuff, but on her computer at night when she's chilling. So after like a few hours, she put Cody on her pillow and she thought that he was going to kind of be mean to her. And he didn't really want any attention. He just sat there and watched the show. And then after the first episode, Cody crawled down and wanted head scratches and wanted her to cuddle him and stuff like that. And ever since then, Cody and my sister have been on really, really good terms because one, I wanted him to know that I'm okay with it. Like, you see me, I love you, I'm putting you away, but I'm putting you away in Jenna's room, so it's okay. I think Cody really had the problem of separation anxiety. I think he was really scared that if he doesn't see me, then he might get locked up in a cage again. So me going away and him seeing my sister wake him up, play with him, hang out with him, he was able to build some trust with her and I wasn't there. So he started learning that, wow, this is a nice backup. She likes me. Basically, my sister was going through the whole routine that I went through with him the first few days that I got him. So you have to allow the other person in your house that's also interested in birds. Some people are just not interested or not educated and they should try, especially if you have a bird in a house, but um, if someone really does love birds or is interested in birds, um, it's so great when a bird loves them. So it's really helpful if you would help them by giving them time with the bird, uh, giving them bonding time with the bird, and encouraging them to let the bird out and hang out and such like that. So she had been doing that with Cody, and Cody started really, really bonding with her and now you know he hasn't bit her with that being said does Cody still bite yeah he bites like sometimes he does the bird bite where he doesn't mean to bite but he like grabs onto your arm or something too much and you have to understand that in those cases sometimes they didn't actually mean to bite they're just trying to get somewhere or trying to get off or trying to do something and then sometimes he like bites my ear and I'm just like, oh God, but he didn't draw blood. And sometimes just they get cranky and they bite. And you know what guys, not all birds bite, but sometimes you can't stop a bird from biting occasionally. And um, in that case, this is what I'm saying before, you can't take it personally. You cannot say, I this bird bit me, I'm gonna lock him up in a cage forever. That's like if you're in a relationship with somebody and you know you guys get mad at each other and you say, I'm never gonna talk to you again. You just can't do that. You have to give them the benefit of the doubt. They have moods, they have feelings, they have emotions, they have all sorts of issues that they might have. By the way, <laughs> I don't really own much pink. This is my best friend shirt. She's pregnant, so maybe Maybe I, uh, she won't need it for nine months. Anyway, uh, Cody, that's not yours. So Cody likes hair 
and Cody likes shirts and Cody likes putting holes in things. And again, I still, I'm not going to punish him and put him away. And what are you eating, babe? And, uh, <laughs> you know, look at this. This is what, you know, we have to deal with, right? Look at him. This is bat bird right here. Am I going to punish him? Absolutely not. I love him so much. It's crazy. It's so weird when you're missing an African gray. Man, I'm like scratching his head while he's behind me right now. I don't think even if I turn around, you guys would see. There he is. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope that helps. I know I kind of went around in circles and stuff today, but um, I just... I just, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say, but the main thing is I want you guys to love your birds. Get them out of cages. It's so important. Can you imagine, look at Cody and how you followed his progress, but it's not even about his progress. It's about that that little bird with that little heart was always in that cage. Do you know what I mean? Like all this potential and to love and, and you know, be a little beauty. He was just locked up in there. So please, guys, do not prison your birds. Do not punish your birds. Do not hold things against them forever. They're, they're just little beings. They're just little beautiful creatures that want to love. And look, they can be so difficult sometimes, but that's what you got into. And they're so amazing, too. Just like any person, any kid, any animal, any relationship, that's the way it goes. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I love when you guys subscribe. I feel like 10,000 or 11,000 subscribers, whatever I have now, means that there's 11,000 people that care about their birds. And to me, that's really, really important. So if you guys like these videos, and if you like the videos of the day, um, some are a little more educational and some are really, really funny. I'm just looking for some all the time, uh, then please subscribe and share and follow us on Instagram and on Twitter at Marlene McCohen. Right, Cody? Do you want to say anything? Oh, you're a camera shy, huh? Now you're frozen. Huh? You frozen? Anyway, guys, so thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.